Palestine. I'm not so concerned about where the, the Malays will be. I'm concerned about where Malaysia and Malaysians will be. In this segment of my interview with Rafida Aziz, we asked her about the blatant use of religion to win the Malay base. Uh, you know, when you use religion for politics, you fear, we fear it becomes a cult. We see this happen everywhere. You know, a religion becomes politicized and you veer off from the real tenets of religion. And you interpret religion according to your whims and fancies to suit your purpose, to suit your, suit your goals and objectives. I worry about that. This is not new. So, in your opinion, where will the Malays be in 20-30 years' time? I'm not so concerned about where the, the Malays current. will be. I'm concerned about where Malaysia and Malaysians will be. I don't know. I never think about the Malays because to me, a poor uh, group comprised of many, the Ibans, the Kadazans, the Malays, the Indians, the Chinese and all the other indigenous groups, if they are poor, they are poor. If they get dengue, they get dengue. If they get COVID, they get COVID. There is no such thing as you Malays, upper class, middle class, low class. There's no such thing. Yeah. We go by economic capacity. Yeah. So if you start thinking like that, I've always thought like that. I may be a Malay, but I'm a Malaysian first. Malaysians, where do you think we should vote? Which way do you think we should vote? No. Where, what is the future? Malaysians there? must think very objectively. Mm -hmm. uh, do not value or evaluate uh, your choices based on spoken words, you know. People love to make beautiful statements, motherhood statements, I call it, you know, headlines. And of course, uh, they have so many faces, like, there are many galleries that I'm incapable of doing. They go to a religious gathering where Muslim sahaja, then you go where your serban, you wear your can play card, you know, and you speak Allah, that language, lah, rentak, uh, Arab. Then you go to the Chinese community and then you speak multiracial, my business. Then you go to the Indian community, that's not right. You speak to them as Malaysian. I asked Rafida to sum up the political scenario in the country over the past year. I am beginning to get quite sick of the toxicity, as I've said, of the politics of today. It is really politics about remaining in power. And about what you can do to hang on to power at whatever level, not just PM, all down there. 